I'm Kim from Nana Pants Fitness. Today I have a chest and back workout for you. So we're gonna have four exercises that we'll go through four times through. But first, let's get started with our warm up. All right guys, so first off, we're gonna start with shoulder rolls. So feet hip width apart. We're just gonna roll those shoulders backwards and forwards. We're just doing a quick warm up. So today's um, workout routine should be pretty fast. We should go through this in no time at all. It'll be kind of like a hit style workout. All right, so now we're gonna start with a reach over. So we're gonna cross one leg over the other and that same leg that's crossing in front, we're just going to reach and stretch out that torso. Okay, other side, crossing that leg over and reach. We're just gonna be switching back and forth. So cross that other leg over and reach over for a nice stretch. Okay, one more each side. Last one. All right, now let's go into our standing cat-cow. So we're going to arch that chest forward, bringing those arms out in front of us, arching our back. Then we're going to bring those arms back, and then we're going to stretch our chest. So arms forward, arching that back, getting a nice stretch through those shoulder blades, and then opening those arms up and getting a nice stretch through that chest. A few more times here. Okay, last one. All right, so that's it for our warm up. If you need a longer workup, pause here and then get in a bit more of a warm up for yourself. If you're ready to start this um, workout with me, then let's get to it. All right, guys, so we have a workout routine that consists of four exercises. We're going to go through four times through. We'll do it um, 40 seconds on with a 10 to 12 second break in between. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna start with push-ups. So you can either do these kneeling or in a full, wherever your level is, that's where you're gonna start. I'm gonna do kneeling today and let's get started. So we're gonna go down and up, just as far as you can go. Down and up. You wanna make sure you're breathing in on your way down and out on your way up, since that's when you're exerting the most force. All right, last one. All right, from here, we're gonna lay on our stomach and we're gonna do what I call Y's. So you're gonna lay on your stomach, roll up your mat a bit so that your mat is where your forehead will be. And then you're gonna extend your arms out and up with your thumbs pointing up. And then you're just gonna bring your arms up, hold, and then back down. So lay that forehead on the mat, then bring it up. You want to make sure you're holding it for about three to five seconds and then lowering back down slowly. Last one. Okay, and release. Roll that mat back out. And we're gonna lie on our back. And we're gonna do chest presses. Okay, so you're gonna grab 
grab those weights if you have them. Lying flat on that back. Bringing those arms out to the side. You're just gonna press up, hold, and slowly back down. Go up, hold, and slowly back down. Make sure that back is flat on that mat. You're gonna be breathing out as you bring those weights up and in as you bring them slowly back down. Two more. Last one. We're gonna come back down on that mat for some W's. So these are kind of like the Y's, but your arms are gonna be out to the side like this. With your thumbs pointing up, roll that mat back. All right, so make sure your arms are out to the side like a W, thumbs pointed up. And then the same thing, hold up for a few seconds and then lower back down. Make sure to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three more. and rest. So we're gonna go through that three more times. So roll your mat back out. We're gonna go into our push-ups. All right guys, sorry about that. I had to go throw my hair up and switch out my mat, but I am back and ready. So let's get into those push-ups. So kneeling or full, whichever you prefer, let's start it up. Make sure to keep that chin tucked back. Try not to jut your chin forward too far. Two more. Last one. And release. All right, so next we're gonna go into those Y's again. So roll up that mat. Make sure that it's right underneath your forehead. Then remember we're gonna extend those arms out and then lift up, making sure to breathe out on your way up and in on your way down. Let's go.
Last one. And release. Press that mat back out and we're to go to chest press next. Okay, so on that back, grab those weights. All right, elbows out, back flat on that mat, okay? Pressing up, hold slightly, and then lower back down slowly. Two more. Remember, breathing out on that way up and in on that way down. Last one here. All right, and relax. Come to sitting, set those legs out to the side. And now we've got our W's. So back on that stomach. I'm gonna roll that mat up so that our forehead is somewhere to rest. And then arms are going to be out to the side, slightly bent, thumbs up towards the sky, and then pressing up. Two more. Last one. And release. Roll that mat back out. And then we're going to go through it all again. This is our halfway mark. So make sure to get a good drink of water if you need it. And then we'll get into our last two sets. All right, guys, let's get into those push-ups. So, if you're kneeling or standing, whichever you prefer, press down and then press up, making sure to breathe in on our way down and out on our way up. Last one, press up and release. As you can see, I am still working on my upper body strength so I don't go very far down. If you want an even more of a regression for the push-ups, then you can always use a wall or even like a chair so that you have a little bit more of an incline there. All right, so let's get into those Y's. Press our forehead down, bring those arms up and out in front of you, thumbs pointed towards the sky, pressing up, hold, and lowering back down. Making sure to breathe out on your way up and in on your way down.
Last one. And release. Next, we're gonna come into our bench press. So, lying flat on that back. Grabbing those weights. All right, arms out. Okay, let's press up and slowly back down. Last one. And release. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go into those W's next. So set those weights out to the side. Come back onto that stomach. Okay, rolling that mat forward. This time, arms out to the side, elbows slightly bent, and thumbs pointing up, okay? Coming up, holding for just a moment, and lowering back down. Great, we got two more. Last one. And release. All right guys, so we have one last set to go through, so let's get this finished. Okay, so we're gonna start up with those push-ups. Remember, kneeling full plank, you can even use the wall or a chair to have a lot, but bigger incline, so wherever you'd like to start, wherever you'd like to be. So down, pressing up, make sure to breathe in on your way down and out on your way up. Two more. Last one. And relax. Remember, we're gonna go into those Y's next. So laying flat on that stomach. We're gonna roll that mat forward. out in front, thumbs pointed towards the sky. Let's start it up.
Two more. Last one. And release. All right, so we're going into those bench presses. We're almost done here, guys. So flipping back over and grabbing those weights. Lying flat on that back. Pressing up. And lowering back down. Remember, slow and controlled. Don't just throw those weights up. Do it nice and slowly up and nice and slowly back down. You got this. Just a couple more. Last one. All right. So we're gonna set those weights up to the side. When we get in for our last exercise, so remember we're gonna do those W's. It's our very last one. So let's get it done. Arms up to the side, slightly bent, thumbs pointed towards the sky, pressing up, hold, and lowering back down. Two more. Last one. Hold it up, hold it up. And slowly back down. All right, guys. Let's get into that cool down and then we will be completely finished with our chest and back workout. Hey guys, so let's get into that cool down. So whether you wanna find a doorway or just like a window pane here, we're gonna do a standing wall chest stretch. So just putting your arm on that doorway or that window pane and then turning away from that arm or from where your arm is. <laughs> you should feel a stretch right through here. We're just gonna hold that for a moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this chest and back workout routine. It was kind of a quick one, so that's a bit different, I feel like. Towards the end there, my arms were pretty much shaking, so depends on how, what difficulty you're at. So whether you're doing your kneeling push-ups or your full push-ups, or if you're doing a lot of weight, for reference, I did like 10 pounds for the um, chest presses. And so yeah, so if it wasn't difficult for you, try doing a harder variation of the exercises that we did today. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy the workout. We're gonna go through this really quick cool down, so just bear with me here. Hope you're getting a nice stretch through that chest. We did work those chest and back muscles today, so I'll be sure to stretch those with you. And you can always add an even longer cool down session after this if you so choose. It's probably a good idea, actually. <laughs> and release on that side. Now we're gonna take both of those arms, place them on the wall, and we're gonna bring that head through those arms in order to get a nice and deeper chest stretch here. Okay, and 
and release. Roll those shoulders out a little bit. And now we're gonna come down to the floor real quick here. All right, from here, guys, we're gonna place those forearms on the mat, pressing that butt up into the air, and then sitting on those heels, bringing that head through those arms. Take a nice deep breath in order to get a really deep stretch through that, through those shoulder blades. Okay, and relax. Okay, thank you guys for joining me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future workout videos and fitness tips. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Bye.